Good day, everyone. I am Orion Miji Talsa, and my topic is a continuation of the report presented by Mom Janine Pasigna Signa. My topic is all about loss of biodiversity and deforestation. Objectives: Define biodiversity loss and deforestation. Know the causes and effects of biodiversity loss and deforestation. Develop environmental awareness and sense of environmental responsibility. Pre-test Number 1. What is biodiversity loss and deforestation? Number 2. What are the main causes of biodiversity loss and deforestation? Number 3. How do biodiversity loss and deforestation affect the world? Number 4. What can we do to protect biodiversity? And number 5. What are some ways to stop global deforestation or at least control it? So what is biodiversity loss? Biodiversity loss, also called loss of biodiversity, a decrease in biodiversity within a species, an ecosystem, a given geographic area, or Earth as a whole. Biodiversity loss describes the decline in the number, genetic variability, and variety of species and the biological communities in a given area. This loss in the variety of life can lead to a breakdown in the functioning of the ecosystem where decline has happened. Causes for a loss in biodiversity Floods, wildfires, earthquakes, Position in the food chain, destruction of habitats, excessive pollution, hunting, invasive species, over exploitation, conflicts. Effects of biodiversity loss, ecological effects. The loss of biodiversity has severe ecological effects since our planet has a natural system and species depend on each other, losing a small number of species can lead to big effects. Predator species that lose their prey will also be in danger of extinction now if they are not able to substitute their prey species to another one. Moreover, the extinct prey, which may have consumed plants, is now no longer be able to do so. Thus, these plants will grow excessively and may dominate other plants and eventually displace them. Spread of diseases Due to a loss in biodiversity, diseases are likely to occur more frequently. Since our environmental system is quite sensible and structured, removing species from the food chain can create serious trouble. For example, if a lion kills an antelope, he will eat part of it. The remaining part will be eaten by other animals. However, if these other animals go extinct and are no longer be able to consume the rest of the antelope, it may waste, and in the wasting process, several kinds of diseases can be developed. If other animals are contaminated with these diseases, it can also spill over to humans due to our consumption of meat. Loss of livelihood for locals the loss of biodiversity also causes a decline in the livelihood of many locals. This can be due to reduced crop yields or other effects. Loss of our recreational space. Many people are stressed by their work and sometimes need space to relax. A forest or a lake surrounded by plants may be an optimal area for this. However, if we further destroy our forest in order to get more settlement space, we will lose many of these recreational environments. Society effects. In nowadays, we are just so focused on computers, smartphones, and other electronic stuff and lose the connection to nature, which our ancestors have built in a natural way. This loss of connection to nature may lead to people to feel something is missing, but they do not exactly know why since they have never been in touch with nature yet. Moreover, nature provides a relaxing environment which if lost can lead to people to become too stressed and mentally ill. Effect on food production A loss in biodiversity can have vast adverse effects on our food production.
Since we nowadays exploit many natural living spaces to an healthy degree, chances are that we lose many food sources which we could otherwise use in the future. Economic effects. Apart from the environmental effects which are bad enough, a loss in biodiversity also causes adverse economic effects. For example, if we lose bees, we would suffer from a serious decline in crop yields which would lead the GDP to collapse and would also lead to an increase in famine. Solutions to the biodiversity loss problem Government restriction and policies In order to mitigate the problem of the loss of biodiversity, Governments are responsible to provide a framework that provides a natural variety of animals and plants. Education. We also have to educate people on how important preservation of biodiversity is for the planet as well as for the humanity. Protection of species. Protection of habitats. Stop pollution. Stop over-exploitation of resources. Save energy. Stop overconsumption, stop deforestation, prevent overhunting and overfishing, prevent species invasions, convince others. Your contribution matters. However, you should also be aware that convincing others and making them aware of their adverse impact, impact on the environment can make you even more powerful since you can start a convincing chain. People that you have convinced may convince others. Thus, you can have a big impact and contribute to sustaining biodiversity on our planet. So what is deforestation? Deforestation refers to the decrease in forest areas across the world that are lost for other uses such as agricultural croplands, urbanization, or mining activities, greatly accelerated by human activities since 1960. Deforestation has been negatively affecting natural ecosystems, biodiversity, and the climate. Causes of deforestation Multiple factors, either of human or natural origin, cause deforestation. Agricultural activities Due to the overgrowing demand for food products, a huge amount of trees are felled to grow crops and 33% of agricultural cost deforestation is because of subsistence agriculture, livestock ranching, illegal logging, urbanization, desertification of land, mining, forest fires, overpopulation. So what are the effects of deforestation? Deforestation has many consequences for natural ecosystem and it poses a serious effect to the planet. Climate imbalance and climate change, increase in global warming, increase in greenhouse gas emissions, acidic oceans, soil erosion, floods, wildlife extinction and habitat loss, loss of biodiversity, food insecurity in the future, the decline in life quality of people. Deforestation disrupts the lives of millions of people. In Southeast Asia, deforestation has contributed to social conflict and migration. Poor people from Brazil have been lured from their villages to soy plantations where they are abused and forced at gunpoint to work under inhumane conditions. Solutions to deforestation. How can we stop deforestation? Government regulations. The best solution to deforestation is to curb the felling of trees by enforcing a series of rules and laws to govern it, banning clear-cutting of forests, reforestation and afforestation, reduce consumption of paper, eat less meat, reduce consumption of deforestation-prone products, lead by example and spread awareness. If you start adopting the behaviors mentioned above to help deforestation, you can lead by your example. Teach your family, friends, or colleagues what deforestation is and why it is happening, the causes and consequences of deforestation, and what solutions individuals, consumers, and organizations can adopt. So we have here the post and the references.
Thank you everyone for listening. Hope you have learned something about my topic.